Hello and thanks for joining me today. We are going to be planning in my new gratitude section using an Erin Condren horizontal layout. So I hope y'all enjoy this uh, spread and video. So welcome and hi again. Um, I cut the punches off and I'm redating this old um, horizontal. Now you'll see I did a lot of whiting out and stuff to make this so I think probably in my future spreads I'll just use a dot grid and change out the layout each week but um, we are going to be using some stickers from the stick to you store again I swear I'm not affiliated with them I just lately I'm just so obsessed with these um, stickers they're so cute um, so I wanted to make a really autumn looking spread and I saw, um, man, I wish I could remember her name. I saw some inspo on Instagram and someone had, um, made a gratitude journal spread marking their win of the day and their one item of gratitude. And I think that has really helped me in the past focusing on, what was the best thing of the day um, to help my mind think positively and not like, well, today sucked. Because <laughs> even on a bad day, you know, there's something good in it most of the time. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, there aren't exceptions to that. But for me, you know, I do think it's really helpful when I can um, find that one glimmer in the day and start focusing on that so I don't really want tons of room to write so I am going to put quite a bit of deco down and um, then I'm just going to make a box on each day for the win and the gratitude um, but like I said in the future um, because I had to do so much whiting out and I really just didn't enjoy the color on the page and I don't want to buy a whole new planner I have a lot of dot grid paper that I can use um, to make these spreads in the future. But for today, this is what we're rolling with. I was doing a test here to see if I could cover the lines with black and be happy with it. But in the end, I just ended up using a lot of white out. A lot, a lot. So I could tell this is going to take a while, so let me fast forward this part for you guys so I don't put you to sleep. I decided to use these Fern Creek stickers uh, days of the week and I decided to kind of put them on vertically. I like the look of it so why not? Thank you. 
So I'm kind of alternating the decorative stickers between the left and right. Um, and then just leaving a little space each day. Like I said, I don't plan to do like long journal entries. Um, so I really don't need that much space to write. It's just a good habit for me to get into to turn around. Um, sometimes I get into a habit of negative thinking, which I think is sometimes human nature, you know? Um, and so if I can just do something to, I don't know, make myself focus on the positive, I have noticed that it really works for me. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to continue with this. Um, I do also have the creative journal that I started and I guess I could just add gratitude on there but um, for right now and through the end of November I really really want to make it a habit so um, I just thought I'd have a separate planner section. In the future if I get into that great habit I may just have it be part of my creative journal. haven't really decided fully yet. Um, so let me know if you track gratitude in your planner. Um, give me a comment down below and how you track that. I would love to hear. So I was gonna look for boxes to lay down, but I just decided to do something a little more creative and draw some boxes. One that says when and one that says gratitude for each day. I don't know if I will um, do this every time. I think um, I'm trying to get creative with this too, just as an outlet as well. So next time I may do a completely different uh, tracking method, but for this spread, I like the way it turned out. So I'm going to repeat this in all the other boxes and I thought I would just speed it up so y'all wouldn't have to wait for me to write it all. So now I'm going to punch the pages. I really didn't think this through because I wrote that vertically where the punch went through, but it didn't turn out too bad. That's all right. Um, so just punching the pages here and then after that, um, I am going to put them into the agenda. Um, and I was kind of debating where I want to put it. You can also see on the tab I covered up the May with uh, two stickers that said gratitude back to back over the tab. Um, so I'm kind of debating right now where I want to place it. Um, first I thought all the way in the back but after trying it you can see here that 
tabs covered it up and I really want to remember to write it down every day. So I ended up putting it in front of the notes, but kind of still with the notes, if that makes sense. Um, and now I'm just going to use my tape runner to get rid of this extra page and the calendar view here. Um, that's another thought that I had that in my creative journal, once I do this for a few weeks and make it a habit, I could do my gratitude and my win in my monthly view on my creative journal. So that could be another option, but I like the way the spread turned out at any rate, and I thought I would share it as an idea for um, how to track gratitude. I honestly don't know what I'm looking for in this sticker book. Like, what am I looking for? Oh, I was going to add some dates. So I was thinking about using these. Um, but then I just thought, I don't want to just take a week of them um, and then those numbers be missing later. So I just decided to write them in. I didn't write them in the best, but you know, you won't saw me a lose some. They looked okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this idea for how to track gratitude in your planner. I just wrote in a little quote here at the bottom that says, um, fall into gratitude, um, just because I thought it went with the theme and I want to remind myself that I'm too blessed to be stressed, right? So, um, let's throw that back in the planner. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please like the video if you did and consider subscribing to see future content. See you guys later. Bye.